going to have a look at this pen. Pelican. This was sent to me by Yost from Applebaum Pennon. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Uh, when I say sent, I uh, what I should say is lent, um, just to, to avoid any potential confusion. This is the uh, Pelican M200 Smoky Quartz, which is the uh, every day the Pelican. Uh, sorry, every day that that would be a lot. Uh, every year, uh, Pelican has this this tie-in. Uh, they they launch their their ink of the year, the Edelstein ink, and they um, they also have a tie-in pen. We have seen amethyst. We've seen, we've seen all these things, um, but this is the Smoky Quartz. Fascinating box, very nice presentation box. I'm being a little careful here to especially not make that ink bottle fall out. See, it's very shiny, so it's all very nice. Pen is suspended there, you got the bottle of ink. It's kind of neat. So, the ink, Edelstein, Smoky Quartz. These bottles in themselves are already on the pricey side. So, the whole set here is 150 euros, um, but I think these bottles go for something like 25, 30 a piece uh, themselves so that is included in the package so th that if you look at it that way I don't think it's it's too hard a price you get an M200 and um, as I said these are tie-ins to the ink so the amethyst pen also was an amethyst demonstrator this is smoky quartz so it's a a brownish uh, demonstrator I'm just gonna put the box out of the way and here we have the pen. I'm going to cover the parts of the pen and tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then we'll do a writing sample. Now, it's always difficult to show this off well because I'm using uh, just ceiling lights. This is not a black pen. Uh, if you get really close, you can see it is sort of a, a slightly cloudy, translucent, but brown pen. All right? Let's look at the parts of the pen. We have the, the pelican with the baby chick on the, uh, uh, on the finial. I've always liked that. Very nice classic design. Gold and black here that works well. We have the stylized pelican bill as a clip. These clips are, I always find them really nice because of their shape, very smooth in, in slipping it into either a pocket or a pen pouch or whatever. We have the cap. It says uh, pelican on one side uh, and on the other side it says uh, Germany. Barrel, it's a piston filler, which is neat, so you have the piston turning knob there, a little gold colored ring, and then you have the, uh, the, the, the barrel. Cap screws off. It's all very, very classic, uh, souverain sort of design. Um, section tapers down, flares out just a little bit, and then we have the nib. Um, the nib says uh, Pelican, and in this case, M for medium. Uh, this is a, a gold-plated steel nib, not a solid gold nib. Nice feed and these nib units just screw out which in a way is very nice because it means that if you have for example if you decide to collect all of the special editions you buy a few separate nibs and you can easily screw them out screw the whole thing back in and you have different nib options which i think is is kind of neat that it's so easy to do that i don't know if we can if you can really see it's currently inked up with that dark brown smoky quartz ink but um, this is all transparent so what you see here is ink and you can sort of see the piston in there. It's as I said, it's a little bit of a cloudy uh, brown, but um, you can definitely you don't need an ink window for this because you can just see how much ink is in there, which is very nice. The M200 is a, I call that a smaller pen. It's it's not very large. It's not tiny. I think for most people this is a, a comfortable size of pen. I can use it unposted, so that that is a, for me it's a nice size. When you post it. I think it's a, a really nice, comfortable size for most people. So it's to me, the, the, the 200 model is sort of a, a, a one size fits most um, because it's 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 just a, a comfortable size. That's pretty much it. So I just wanted to show you that that cap close up, uh, so you can see that that nice translucent but but slightly small, uh, slightly um, uh, cloudy uh, material they used. A very warm brown. It's uh, I, I I liked it a lot of the um, <clears throat> sorry these special editions that have come out recently. This is probably my my favorite color in in quite a while because it's so warm and from a distance it it almost looks like it's a black pen but then when you get close you see it's a it's a, a pretty neat warm brown which I like a lot. What do I like about the pen? Well. As I just said, the finish is very nice. A very nice warm brown translucency, it's, it's, it's very nice. Um, I really like this nib. Uh, recently I had one or two issues with Pelican nibs, but this one is very pleasant. It's 
a simple medium, has a bit of spring to it, it's smooth and it rode well. So that's that's great. It's always a, a relief when you when you uh, get a nib that, that, that really rides so well you know, after a while. Um, so I, I really enjoyed that. The price, 150 euros, I don't think that's too horrible. You don't get a gold nib, but you get a piston filled pen, you get a special edition pen, so they will start production at some point. You get a bottle of ink, uh, which, as I said, is relatively pricey in its own regard. Uh, and it's these are pretty big bottles too, so you definitely get some, uh, um, some ink out of that. Plus, I think these are very nice bottles. That's a bit of a personal call, but I, I think they're very uh, classy looking uh, bottles that, that look, definitely look very nice on a, on a desk. Um, so I think all of that is is great. Uh, I also really like the uh, the interchangeable nib. As I said, you just just hold it and you just uh, for me it's easiest to unscrew the the pen barrel, but you can easily switch them around and you have a whole bunch of nib options because they go from extra fine through broad. Uh, so you can definitely uh, get some some nice uh, uh, options uh, there. Things I don't like about it so much. Um, these are smaller. Pens. I, 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 and what I mean by that is, I think it's a pretty normally sized pen for most people. But what I would really like to see Pelican do is come up with something that would be a bit bigger, because they have the 600, the 800, the 1000. Obviously, the price would go up. This doesn't really feel like an M600. It feels a bit more plasticky. But the price is also a lot lower. So I understand that. I mean, it's something's got to give. Um, but I would love it if, for once, they could do this because this, as an M1000, in this material, would be amazing, absolutely amazing. There's nothing wrong with this pen size. As I said, I think it's comfortable for most, if not all, people, uh, unless you really have such excessively huge hands. But that is simply not the pen for you. Um, I think this is a one size fits most and it's nice, but I would love to see a special edition that's a bit bigger at some point. I mean, when was the last time you saw a special edition M1000? That's not a marquee, but that is something different from the green and the black, etc. I would like that. Having said that, I think it's a pretty decent package. Get a bottle of ink, get a piston filler, get a nib that writes. Sounds pretty cool to me. And the, the presentation box is, is definitely cool. So there you have it. Joost, thanks a lot for sending me this pen. I appreciate it. Hope this was useful so far. Measurements of the pen will be on the website sbrebrown.com along with high resolution pictures as always taken by the inimitable gourmet pens. We need to see how the pen writes. That's what's coming up next. And I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye. Okay, let's have a look at the Pelican M200 Smoky Quartz. Uh, the ink is also Smoky Quartz, yeah, and this happens to be the medium. Hope those loops make sense, but yes, it is a medium nib. Writing is smooth and pleasant. Very pleasant, pleasant writer. Just just the right amount of feedback and, and I, I, I really like it. Fast writing. Seems to work well. What about its wetness? No complaints there. Not a super wet writer, but definitely works well. Line variation. As you can see, there definitely is some, which is kind of neat. And you don't have to push too hard either, so it doesn't feel like you're forcing anything, which does add a little bit of character to your writing, which I like, especially in a steel nib. That's kind of neat. Um, reverse writing, something that some people like. It's, uh, it's very scratchy but I think you can get away with one or two words and you see it starts to run dry so 
maybe with a slightly wetter ink it would work a bit better uh, but even so it's um, it's not a, uh, a super uh, uh, super wet writer to begin with I got the feeling so this may not work that well Yoast, thanks a lot for lending me this pen I appreciate it I hope this was useful and um, I'll gladly see you later bye bye bye